Good morning everybody. I hope you are having a really wonderful day. Thank you for joining me today and I have another new video for you. So today we're going to do like the random screen cap challenge. Uh, I'm not sure if you've heard of it. I've done it three times before and I put them on my TikTok. Uh, but I find they just way too short. So today I'm going to do it on YouTube here today. So I'll show you the video, the pictures that I've done in the past. And this was my first one. I'm kind of looking at my sketchbook down on the side by here. <laughs> and I can't believe this was my first one. All the, all the videos and all the pictures and all the screen caps are from animated films. And so this is the one that I got. I mean, how more animated could you get than this? And this is the second one that I got. I really don't like it. I really could have done more with it. Uh, but I guess it's fine. But it's not an animated film. Of all the animated screen caps, it's probably the only one that wasn't an animated film on it. And I had it, so joy. And this is the third one I got. And this is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an animated film that I like, that has a really cool screen cap, and we'll just have fun drawing it. So it's completely random. I have a, a schedule of, of, of ways to do it and I will explain as we go. So let's just get right into that. So this is my random process for choosing my screen cap. The first things first is one to 28, that's 28 letters of the alphabet. And then I've already gone through the website and put down how many put down how many films are under each letter so then once we get there it'll be between like 1 and 8 or 1 and 52 and that'll choose the random film and then we see how many pages that film has and so if it has 60 pages between 1 and 60 and we choose the random page and then every page has 180 screen caps on it and so the next one is between 1 and 8, 180 and that tells us which specific screen cap we will be recreating. So I'll just let's get in and do it. So this is a really interesting screen cam. I'm looking at it and I know it's not the most interesting one that we could have got. It's not exactly like the Monsters Inc one. But I do sort of like it. So I'm gonna go with it. And I'm gonna try and make it my own. And if you noticed when I was doing the random choosing of the, the screen cap. I didn't actually number each of the um, Jungle Book films. I ended up just putting Jungle Book into one number because I wanted the animated one from the Disney, from the Disney show. Um, I've had real life ones before, like the second screen cap that I've done. Um, and they're fine, but it's really the animated ones that I like. So I'm gonna go with this. This screen cap is very strange and I'm going to try and make it my own. I like to copy them but not copy them exactly um, but still keep the, the feel of the, the screen cap so it'll look almost exactly the same but of course in my style. Um, so yeah. So I'll some sort of sketching out these elephants. 
I just sort of wanted to make sure that you could see all four of them. So of course these are Asian elephants and so they have little ears instead of the big massive elephant ears that you get on Africa elephants. And I kind of want to focus on this guy here whilst also focusing, you know, I want to bring a little bit more detail into this guy and show a little bit more that there is another elephant here squishing. I actually really like this screen cap probably because my favourite part of the Jungle Book when I was watching as a kid was the bit with the elephants. Like my mum was like a huge elephant fan and so I really liked the elephant bit as a kid. squished up and so I'm actually finding it really difficult to work out the sizing of things. Because this is his leg. If you remember back to when I was choosing the screen cap, there was actually four Jungle Book movies. And I was just curious if any of you have actually watched all four of them. I think I've probably watched three of them. But I can't remember. I can't actually remember. I've, I've seen the new one, obviously. Um, the new CGI one from Disney and I've seen this animated one. So the really interesting bit about this elephant is that his leg is in front. It almost looks like he's walking a cat box, so let's let's see if we can sort of Let's see if we can sort of channel that feeling with this guy. Thank you. 
don't worry guys. So let's talk about The Jungle Book. This movie was released in 1987. That was before I was born. And although it was still a major film that I watched when I was growing up, and like I said earlier, my favorite bit was definitely The Elephants. I can't believe we got that as a screen cap today. I really, really liked that little baby elephant. The way he moved and his voice was just, it was just really cute. Like I really liked him. I guess I just wanted him to be picked up by the story, you know, like Baloo was, and like he was just a main character. I really, I really hoped that that would happen. I guess it didn't. And so the little bit that we get of him on screen is just perfect. We just need to, to love that little bit. And now, no hate on the movie, but I am definitely somebody who thinks Mowgli should have stayed with Baloo and Bagheera. He just seems to fit right in. And he would have grown up to be like a George of the Jungle sort of person. I mean, is that a theory? No, no, it can't be. No, because like Mowgli definitely couldn't have grown up. No, 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 definitely can't be. But imagine it. Imagine if Mowgli escaped from the village and then decided to live out his life in the jungle. Maybe he could then come across Tarzan and they could be like, best birds in the jungle. I don't know, I realise that's a bit far-fetched. But we could do some Jungle Boy fan art. That must exist, right? I mean, I haven't looked it up. I think I will ask for this. Let me know. Let me know if you hear anything on the grapevine about that. Anyway, back to the illustration. I thought I would paint this screen cap. Usually I colour them in. I use markers and then some coloured pencil. But this time, I, I I don't know, I just really felt, when I woke up this morning, I really felt like painting something using my gouache paints. And I've been using gouache for a little while now, and I really, really like it. I like how it creates artwork that, that already looks illustrated. It already sort of looks like cartoons. Does that make sense? If you've used gouache before, you know, like, it just feels different to all the other paints. Does that make sense? For me, I guess, I feel like you already get maximum results with quite minimal effort. Like I do some layering and I, I like to add a bit of texture. But when I use this paint, like the colors just mix so perfectly. And then when I lay them down on the paper, they look so smooth and then I really 
Like, I don't know. I just don't want to touch it again. I really like it. And so, once I've sort of painted a layer down, I'm like, yeah, that looks good. And then I just don't touch it again. And so to go back in and add little, like, dots and lines and textures and shading and stuff, I sometimes find that really difficult. So, yeah, I added some clouds in the background. I sort of brightened the sky up a little bit. That seems to be quite typical of what I seem to be doing at the moment. Yeah, I really enjoyed creating this artwork. The colours are great, and I, I really like the really close-up, cropped squish of all the elephants. I think it's really cool, it really gets to me. I think if you know what movie this is from, it feels like a really poignant part of the film. I mean, at least for me. I think I'm probably going to frame this and put it up on the wall. Do let me know down in the comments if you have seen this film and if you have, which scene was your favourite and which character was your favourite? Let me know, I'm really interested to know if you really enjoy this film like I do. So here's the final illustration. I really love it. So do please let me know what you think. And if you'd like to see more random screen cap drawings, you never know what we might get. We might get a black screen with two eyes on it. We might get a fully detailed background piece. We could literally just get a blur on the screen. <laughs> could be any of it. So yeah, do let me know if you want to see any more of these. And if you do any of them yourself, show me. But thank you so much for joining me today. This has been really, really fun. Do tag me in your artworks over on all the social medias, at KTME Creative. And whilst you're over there, give me a follow. I hope you have a really wonderful day. And I'll see you next week. Bye.